Good morning, YouTube, Booktube. It's Johnny. It is a Monday here in West Michigan. It is raining. It's dark. It's dismal. It's wet. It's June the 26th, 10:23. In the past, I would have been at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, but it's closed until next year, April 2024. They're remodeling the parts of the library. So I'm here and uh, I thought what I would do in this video is show you a couple of weeks ago we had the Friends of Library Use book sale and I've been meaning to show you the books that I got at that book sale and I broke it down into I think 10 books because I don't think I could show all of them in a video and you might get overwhelmed <laughs> or so I'm just going to I made a list of the books and I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 9 books and it's probably not going to be long videos so it's 10.04 in the morning here on a Monday. It's coming to the end of June. Tomorrow morning we have the plumber coming. <laughs> and uh, Carol gets back on Wednesday. As far as my diary, I'm on page 542 this morning. And I'm reading for devotions. Uh the Bible and I read prayers of the use for the use of families by Robin William J and reading synopsis of pure theology I just showed you this this is volume one disputations one through 31 this was published back in 17th century this has just been translated now uh, the Dutch and well Latin uh, it's called the, the Leiden synopsis and I was reading this disputate the disputate disputation on Concerning the person of the Father and the Son. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to show you the books. I had them in a certain order on the list. So, I'll go by the list. I have the first one on the bottom of the pile. So yeah, it's a Monday, it's kind of dismal out, rainy. I just finished taking Ollie for a walk. And uh, first book I got at the Friends of Library used book sale was Animal Farm by George Orwell. Now I have, this is a 50th anniversary edition. And the reason why I bought, you know, I collect books on George Orwell but you notice the illustrations are by Ray Stedman. And Ray Stedman, he's famous for his illustrations for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson. You can, anybody who knows that book can see the, the artwork of Ray Stedman. He's very distinctive. Artwork, art, artwork, and that's why I got these. I have uh, an illustrated kind of comic book on the life of Sigmund Freud, with Ray Stedman's illustrations, and, and then. I gotta put this pile over here. And then I picked up, I have a list here. Dinner with P. 
Pierre Spahn, like Travels in Greece by Patricia Stalris. I like reading travel books, even though I don't like to travel. I saw this at the uh, library used book sale, and I was reading it, and it looked kind of interesting. So I got it. Um, the New York Review of Books says, full of insights, marvelous, entertaining, haunting, and beautifully written. This was a New York Times Notable Book of the Year. Uh, Atlantic Monthly said, Splendid Solace's account of a year in Greece combines past and present legend and fact in an unusual and delightful whole. So I got that. And then I got the the WPA Guide to Massachusetts, the Federal Writers Project Guide to 1930s Massachusetts. I just read a book about the writing of these, uh, the, the Federal Writers Project Guide in the 1930s. They, it was a, a, a program FDR started the Federal Writers Program and the, they had the assignment of writing travel or guides in every state of the United States and I found one at the used book sale and it was written in 1930s uh, so yeah this was cop uh, Published in, what's it say, 1937. I don't know, it looked kind of interesting and I just read about the making of these guidebooks and I, I showed you that in the past, so it was kind of interesting. And then I found by Michael Corda, Making the List, A Culture History of the American Best Seller, 1900 to 1999. Now Michael Corda was, the, was Larry McMurphy, McMurtry's editor for 40 years. <laughs> when I was reading his memoir, Larry McMurtry, uh, he mentions him being his editor for 40 years. So, and I have other books by him. He's he's written a biography in Eisenhower. Uh, I have he's written memoirs, Michael Corda. He's written novels, but he was primarily an editor. Uh, Michael Corda is the editor in chief of Simon and Schuster as well as author of Country Matters, Charm Lives, Another Life, Man to Man, Surviving Prostate Cancer. He's also written several best-selling novels, including Queenie, The Fortune, The Immortals. Pick that up. Yeah, A Culture History of the American Bestsellers, bestseller from 1900 to 1999. I mentioned in the, about an art book I got at the Friends of the Library used book sale, and this was it, William Blake at the Huntington, Introduction to the William Blake Collection in the Henry F. Henry E. Huntington Library Art Gallery, San Mateo, California. It's just, uh, you've, if you've looked at William Blake, uh, it's just uh, the plates, the engravings. There's one on the cover. I collect things on William Blake, biographies, his uh, poetry, his engravings. So I got this. This is Alberto 
Mangal, Mangral, this is the library at night. He's written all kinds of books on books on books. Uh, the City of Words, The Iliad, uh, The Odyssey, a biography. And he's written uh, books on books. But this is his library at night. Uh, yeah, he wrote a book called The History of Reading, which I have. The, his, the Library at Night, a beautifully rendered meditation on the meaning of libraries through history from Alexandra through the Virtual Library of Google is the most important book since, the, since then. A Humanist Journey, the Library of Night asks why we insist on collecting books and putting them on shelves, appetizing them, or defiantly using other systems of organization, all of them arbitrary. So I got that. And this is a book uh, called Justin Teen's Flea, Plague, Empire, and the Birth of Europe by William Rosen. I collect books on history, European history, ancient history, United States history, and this looked kind of interesting. This is a novel by Evan O'Connell, S. O'Connell. I showed you I had picked up his novel, Mrs. Bridge, at the library used book sale, and this is another novel of his. He also wrote a biography on, I think it was on Buffalo Bill, something like that, Son of the Morning. And this is his novel, The Alchemist Journal. It's like a historical fiction. And then lastly, I picked up Lisa, Lisa Pickard, the tale uh, of Victorian London, the tale of a city 1840 to 1870. Yeah, I collect books on London. I didn't realize until I start collecting books on London, England, how many there are. I must have, I lost count how many books I have on London, England. But it's one of the, the, the great cities of the world, London, same as New York City, United States, Paris, Berlin, Tokyo, Moscow, uh, Tokyo, it just goes on and on, world cities. I, had, I, had, I got a biography on the city of Baghdad, uh, city of Cairo, Istanbul, Jerusalem, it just goes on and on. I like reading about cities, not only major cities, but you know, like uh, I got a book on Philadelphia, Pennsylvania during the colonial times. And oh, I collect books on Boston, Massachusetts, books on San Francisco, California, things like that. So yeah, that's what I got. Lisa Pilcard, Pilcard, Victoria, Victorian London, Tale of the City, 1840 to 1870. Historical Fiction, The Alchemist Journal by Evan S. Connell. Uh, European History, J Justinian's Flea, Plague, Empire, and the Birth of Europe by uh, William Rosen, Book on Books by Alberto Mangal, Library at Night, uh, William Blake's, his gravings from uh, his poetry, uh, little introduction. Just different illustrations. Then another book on books by Michael Corda, 
making the list, the cultural history of bestseller, 1999. It's kind of interesting to look back, like what was the bestsellers in 1956? What was the bestsellers like in, oh, 1918? And then you have these, <coughs> the WPA Guide to Massachusetts, the Federal Writers Project Guide to 1930s Massachusetts. And a travel book on Greece. Dinner with Persimmon. Pers I can't pronounce the name. Travels in Greece by Patricia Stowers. And then Animal Farm by George Elwell. As I got this for the uh, illustrations by my Ray Steadman. Yeah, I like the illustrations in here. Like, you know, this. Yeah, Ray Stedman, he wrote a biography on Honor S. Thompson in a, because they not only, Ray Stedman not only did illustrations for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, but he also did illustrations for uh, essays that Honor S. Thompson wrote for the Rolling Stones magazine that are very famous. I think I have other books illustrated. I think he also illustrated other books I have downstairs. So I'll show you some more tomorrow uh, from the Renza Library used book sale. Yeah, I just thought I'd make this video. I'm still sick, not feeling well. Uh, just hanging in there. Carol gets back Wednesday. And uh, that's it. I did have a book come in the mail yesterday, but I don't have it on the table. So I'll show it in a future video. So I'll sign off. Hope you're having a good Monday. Have a good reading week. Thank you for your comments. And until next time, bye.